Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Shivam here back with another YouTube video. If you don't know me, my name is Shivam and I run OneLineLabs.com which is a lead prospecting and personalized first line writing agency. And I get asked a lot because I've shared a lot about instantly.ai on my YouTube channel over here. It's my number one tool to be sending out cold emails from. So I often get asked what my setup for cold email looks like and what I do basically. So I just thought that I'll show you how I'm booking meetings for both my agencies, One Line Labs and Done For Reels through cold email and what my setup on the back end of Instantly looks like and I'll be taking you into my account to showcase that. So if you don't know what Instantly is, it's a cold email software which offers uh, warm up as well. This is a software that I've been using for about, since they basically launched, I think I joined the software right after one month of their launch and it's been my number one software go-to. I shifted all my accounts from Lemlist to this and I've been really happy with them. Uh, if you're looking to start your Instantly account as well, I've got a link in my bio which gets you a 14 day free trial and supports the channel just a bit. So as you guys can see, here is my own Instantly account. As you guys can see, I have a lot of email addresses right here connected. So the best thing about Instantly.ai is that you can connect as many email accounts as you want. And the limit on the price thing is on the number of leads you can upload in total and the number of cold emails you can send out to them. So as you guys can see, I have a lot of uh, cold emails right over here. So you can see this is the warm up feature. So if you go into uh, my email accounts and you click over here under settings, you can see that the warm up is enabled. And in the last week, I've sent out 74 warm up emails and 74 landed in spam and 236 warm up emails were received from my from my end. If you go into my settings, you can see here is everything. My daily campaign limit stands at 50 and my minimum wait time is one minute. Now, once my cold emails are, you know, starting to send out 30, 35 emails per day, what I like to do is I like to come into my warm up and put my daily warm up on 10 and I just increase one per day. So I don't want more than 10 emails on minimum. So this is usually 20 when you're starting out a fresh account. But once you're warmed up, etc., you can just keep it at 10 and the reply rate at 30% and it should be good to go. Uh, this is my warm up as it looks like on the back end of it. You can see all my emails mostly are 100% in health. If they are not 100%, I usually, if they drop below 95%, I usually take them out of sending out cold emails and just focus on warming them up again because there's no point in sending out cold emails if they're landing in spam. Just I thought I'll let you know that, you know, if you see it anywhere below 90% in your case, I think you should like, you know, switch off all campaigns related to that email and just go ahead and warm it up again. So as you guys can see, I just connected this new email address right over here. I haven't enabled warm up over here, but my settings etc are there and I even need to have custom tracking domain for that. So I'll be doing that soon for you guys as well uh, and showcasing a video on how to do that. Uh, moving on to what uh, the software's pricing etc looks like so you guys can see they've got two main plans uh, one is a $37 growth plan which is mostly uh, okay for anybody who's sending out 5,000 emails monthly to a thousand people and after that I suggest the hyper growth plan which is $97 a month which I am also currently on which allows you to send out 25,000 new cold emails every month to a new contact and that's that's basically how my campaigns look like so as you guys can see, I have all my campaigns right over here. I won't be able to show you my campaigns from inside because, you know, it's something that my cold email I'm testing out and I don't want a lot of people to be sending out the same kind of cold email. So you guys can see my analytics right over here. So if we go into my last three months, you can see we sent out five and a half thousand uh, cold emails. We had a 67% uh, open rate and a 5.3% reply rate. And these are the opportunities and opportunities. I don't have the costing right over here, but you can see that we got basically about 98 positive responses and not all of them are recorded because I usually don't use the Unibox that a lot of people use. So what Unibox basically is, is this basically wherein you will be getting all your emails in one place. And what it will do is it will mark them as interested, not interested. So you can see that I've got all these responses right over here. You can see the interested ones, you can see the closed, out of office, everything right over here. And if I go under my campaigns, let me just hop into one campaign and show you the backend settings for that. So this is one of my campaigns right over here. You guys can see we got 655 contacted emails right over here. We got a 63% open rate, we got 34 people to respond and we got 15 opportunities right over here. 
if I click on this and say my ticket value is a thousand dollars each I set it at thousand and you guys can say it will change the opportunity right over there uh, coming over here you can see I've got a three campaign email you can see my first email got opened 380 by 386 people second email got opened by 62 and third email got opened by 36 but as you guys can see I paused the campaign before uh, it could complete it because I had another campaign in mind that I wanted to continue so the follow-ups weren't sent properly but you can see like you know everything is right over here and uh, if I go under my options right here you can see I usually uh, keep my open tracking on a lot of people suggest open tracking off for a better reply rate and not to land into spam because it takes out all HTMLs uh, from your uh, campaign I, I usually like to not do that and I usually just keep open tracking on just to see how many emails of mine are actually getting opened and to you know take take help from that uh, delivery optimization uh, is same if, if you have your open tracking disabled you can enable this and it really helps uh, I've got my daily limit at 30 and one thing that I love about Instantly's hyper growth plan is that I can prioritize reaching out to new leads over scheduled follow-ups so I have this ticked so that whenever I'm, I'm you know sending out any cold email campaigns priority is sending out the first email over the follow-up so because like, you know the first email actually has the free loom offer so my free loom offer basically is a free value offer that I'm basically offering the brand a free audit and it basically you know reaches new people every day versus so I wake up with opportunities every day versus if it was not prioritizing sending new emails it would be sending follow-ups etc in that 30 maximum limit and I won't be reaching out to new people so that is one of the things that I usually like to do and yeah that's about it it's it's a very simple procedure to add your own email all you need to do is click add new if you have a google suite account you can just go over here you'll need to enable imap into your settings if once it's enabled you say enabled imap and this is uh, o authorization has been enabled by instantly which is really really easy to set up all you need to do is you need to click on this one uh, you go to your google workspace admin panel you click on add app and you just copy paste this id and you log into your account and it just gives all access to instantly uh, and and you just need to do this once for every domain and all three users then you can just keep adding them log in and add them without any issues so yeah this is basically my instantly setup on the back end i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did do hit the like button and subscribe down below i've got my 14 day free trial link in the description as well in case you're looking to get on that and yeah uh, if you have any recommendations or what you want to see on this channel do let me know in the comments and i'll be happy to help Till then, bye and I'll catch you guys in the next one.